Hey, this is Wolf from Armory Terrain. And in most historical battles, and nearly all the fantasy ones, all the descriptions of the warriors going to war include the beating of drums and the blowing of horns. Even the wailing of pipes. From personal experience though, if you bring bagpipes onto the field, you may as well check all the arrows at the end to see how many of them were shot by your own people. Nobody likes a bagpiper. Anyway, most LARPs that I've seen don't have too many musicians, which kind of really ruins some of the immersion and some of the fun. I mean, I can understand drums, or real drums, are expensive. And you don't want to take them on the field. They also have sharp metal bits hanging off them, and generally you just don't want to trash them. This, on the other hand, has just taken me about three hours to build, and including the kangaroo skin front on it, the total cost is about $20. That includes the plastic bin that it's based around. Now, you don't have to use leather on it, especially for those who are vegan and don't use any animal products. Vinyl works quite well. Even some of the heavier materials will work. After all, it's all about vibrating the inside of it. So, watch on and see how to build one of these. Right then, the first step to making this drum is to get a plastic garbage bin. Not a mesh one like this, or a flimsy one. What you need is a fairly solid one. A couple of slots is okay, but you don't want anything with more than this because otherwise it won't have the tension. Now, the first thing we're going to do with it is cut the bottom out. Now, you're going to be tempted to just cut straight down across. Don't do that. The bottom will collapse. What you need to do is just cut a hole out of the bottom. The way I did it was I used a spade bit to drill a hole and then I used my cutters to just cut around it. You, once you've cut around it, please grab a knife or a Dremel and smooth it out. You will be reaching in and out of there a number of times and you don't want any sharp bits to cut yourself. Now that we've got it to this stage, yep, you can still see me. Gonna grab a couple of puzzle piece edges of the EVA floor mats and just glue them around the top edge with hot glue. This gives us a bigger surface to glue the drum skin on later. So obviously you trim the, all the knobs off then you glue that on. I'm then going to glue another layer of it just below here to give me a little bit of added thickness. And then I'm going to cut panels that'll run down the bin like that. And they'll be twice, three times as wide as this. Anyway, I'm going to get that done and then I'll show you how to make the drum look good. Or at least look gobliny. Now, as you can see plainly, this bin is not straight up and down, it's nicely shaped. So, there's two ways of doing it. You can measure the small diameter and the big diameter and divide it up and cut all the pieces. Or you can do it the easy way. What I've done is just cut four square panels, 100 mils wide, and for my bin, they're 230 mils long. I've then measured the gaps in between using a dressmaker's tape, or any soft tape would do it. And I've cut the pieces for each one. Now, make sure you label these because they're gonna be different sizes or glue them on as you go. Now, before you glue them on, what's really useful is just rolling them around the edge of your table. So they've already got a bit of a curve to them. And then, just glue them in with your hot glue gun. Now, 
Now, if they don't line up exactly, that's not really a problem. As long as they pretty much line up, that's all you're looking for. It is, after all, a goblin war drum. As you can see, that fills in there nicely. Now, once I've glued these other, other three in, I'm going to grab my soldering iron and put in a bit of quick wood grain work into the foam. Um, I'm sure everyone knows how to do that by now. Just grab the tip and score it down through the foam. Um, might be a good idea to wear a mask. This stuff's not particularly nasty when you heat it up, but it's not good for you either. Just off camera, I've got a fan blowing. So with the mask and the fan, all the toxic stuff blows over that way, out through my open roller doors. So I'm going to glue these other bits on, mark the wood grain, and then throw some paint onto it. Once I've thrown the first layer of paint onto it, we'll discuss the next step. I was just going to leave it like this, but this is too rough even for me. So I've cut a very rough circle, which I'm going to glue onto there and also paint. And that should help finish it off somewhat. Next, I'm going to paint some tribal markings on it, since it's going to be a goblin wardrum, which will be basically in white and red triangles or shark teeth. So I'm going to slap that paint on, and then I'll show you how to skin this thing. Once you've decorated your drum as much as you want, and there's no actual limit on how much decoration you can put on it, it's entirely up to you and what sort of lap that you have. Now these drums, they're great just to have as a drum, but they work so much better if you can hang them off a belt. So, what I have done is on the inside of the drum, I've gone into the pre-cut, the slots that were already there, and I've just put a belt through, trimmed it down, and I'm going to use contact adhesive to stick it on so it will hang on a belt so it can be hit more easily walking into combat. Now to skin this, I'm using a piece of kangaroo. You can use whatever you want, but I've got a tannery close to me that does kangaroo, so I can get seconds and damage stock a lot cheaper than normal. So anyway, this one you're going to need contact adhesive for. So mark the diameter of your drum on the skin. So you can apply a contact adhesive to it, contact adhesive to the top here, and then starting on one side, you can stretch it on until you've got a nice tight drum surface. So I'm now going to do that and use Parafix Fast Grip, which is just a dodgy contact adhesive, but it is lots toxic and horrible. So I'm going to go put a mask on and do this. And once it's all stuck on, I'll show you the finished product. Okay. The drum is all finished. It's painted up the crescent moon and some shark teeth around it. And it looks, all in all, not too bad. Now, one thing that I did forget was that kangaroo skin is stretchy, which means it doesn't make the best drum skin. But it's still okay. is plenty good enough to march to LARP in and if you're interested in how I made this bone of hitting it with there's a link to that video either up there or up there somewhere there anyway this is Wolf from Armory Train saying be creative stay in and make some noise <laughs>